The gun to my head, I pulled the trigger, boom, shot my TV at four in the morning, and I wake up the next day. That realization hit me that I almost killed myself, you know, over this addiction because I, I, I was miserable. My name is Keith Moore, hear my story. I, uh, I'm the oldest of three. Um, life growing up in my house was pretty good. I was, we were upper middle class family. Uh, my parents raised me good. You know, there was dysfunction in my household, don't get me wrong, um, between my mother and father. They ended up getting divorced eventually. But overall, I was a, uh, a, a privileged kid that came from a loving, mostly loving home. I was always seeking, from a, from a young child, I was just that kid that was just that adrenaline junkie, like trying to jump his bike farther than everyone or, you know, jump off these cliffs, do bad, just do, you know, pushing the limits. I love to push the limits. So the first time that I got high, um, it was like, this is what I had been missing. You know, this is how I wanted to feel forever. And it, um, the escalation was instantaneous. It was, it wasn't a slow process. It was just from the first time that I, I drank and then used drugs. It was, it was basically downhill from there. I was in rehab, you know, by the time I was 16, I was in jail by the time I was 16. I did six months, you know, when I was 17. Uh, my, my using was, it was completely just un, out of control. You know, I, I gave up my freedom and my, uh, a lot of my adolescent years because I couldn't, I couldn't quit, uh, you know, getting high to pass a drug test for my probation officer. I chose to, I chose to give up my freedom. Um, you know, to get high. Rock bottom for me was, you know, it was it was kind of a culmination of events. And um, I, so about a month before I got clean, I was, it was like, I don't, you know, really remember, but I just know the aftermath of what happened. And I'll get into that. You know, I was uh, out of my mind. It was like four in the morning. Um, you know, I'd been up on uppers and downers all night and I was just uh, miserable. And I, I do, I put a gun to my head, I pulled the trigger, or I, I cocked it back and I, you know, it's fuzzy, but I ended up not killing myself and I, but I shot my TV inside my house. Boom, shot my TV at four in the morning and I wake up the next day. And when the, that realization hit me that, you know, I almost killed myself, you know, over this addiction because I, I, I was miserable. There, I had nothing, nothing left. And there's a lot more to add to that too, you know. I, my story is, I had a lot of material things, you know. I wasn't that homeless addict. I was, I had a lot of things, you know. I, I was making money and I had a lot of that stuff. All these things that I thought gave me, you know, satisfaction in life but yet I wanted to die. And when I'm waking up the next morning and realizing that, you know, um, and once it all sunk in was just, that was one of the rock bottoms for me. And um, a couple days later after that, I fell asleep. I, 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 what, I nodded out, I was on drugs. I nodded out behind the wheel of my car and uh, like idled across three lanes of traffic, came to and like cars are like swerving around me and stuff. And uh, you know, just by the grace of God again, you know, I was saved, I was spared, um, and nobody was hurt. I didn't hurt myself, I didn't hurt anybody else, and by the grace of God after that, I just, I met some people and I got clean. It was it was totally a God thing. My, my mother was actually getting clean around this time. You know, uh, my mother, my family struggles with addiction also. She, she was getting clean, so I was kind of looking up to her, because, you know, I was dabbling in it. I was, I want, knew I did, I couldn't continue living this way, right? But I didn't want to, I wanted to get clean, but I didn't want to get, I didn't want to put down the drugs. So, um, you know, she's going to like celebrate recoveries and, and NA meetings. And she told a, a young man about, about me and asked him to reach out to me. And he, he called me one day, which out of the blue, I have no idea who this guy is. And he invited me to a meet, an NA meeting, you know, and on any other day, you know, I've been like, absolutely like, no click, you know, like I'm going to go do something else. But you know, those bottoms that I just told you had literally just happened. So I was, I was desperate. I was in, I was in a desperation mode. So I went with them and, you know, long story short, a month later, you know, just kept going back. 
um, <laughs> I got clean, you know, I, it, there, and that was eight years ago. So, well, God's everything, you know, um, without God, you know, we're obsessed with ourselves. You know, and myself and my own best thinking is what got me to where I was at. It wasn't God that put got me to where I was at. It was me. And God has um, allowed me, has blessed me beyond belief in my recovery because, you know, we have made the right choices. Um, he's given recovery and addiction has given me purpose in life and, a, and an avenue to connect and reach people that I otherwise couldn't. It's given purpose to my life, you know, being out and climbing out of that addiction and now being able to help people that are going through the same thing, you know, and it's probably the most fulfilling aspect of my life, you know, it is my life's purpose to carry the message, you know, of recovery and of God. If you are out there and you are struggling with addiction right now, I promise you that God has a plan for you and do not give up. Don't get high no matter what, and I promise you that it will get better. It might get worse before it gets better, but it will get better. All the tragedy that you have gone through and you're walking through right now, God will make to do good. You know, and you can't see that right now, but I promise you that if you don't get high and you follow God and you continue to work on yourself and work on recovery, you will be able to reach someone and live a life beyond your wildest dreams.